With the community talking a lot about third kits in Splatoon 3, a trend I saw on Twitter caught my eye. What is my favorite and least favorite weapon in the game for each special? So come on, sit down with me, let's, uh, let's see how much we agree or even disagree. Number one, Zooka. Fun, silly, and, and also evil. Some people love to hate on it, and other people hate how much they love it. Hear me out, hear me out, I know, it doesn't really get Zooka very fast, and it is the Clash Blaster, but the Clash Blaster is fun! And having the bomb kit plus the Zooka kit is just great for random surprises. Clash could do no wrong in my eyes. You know what has wronged me though? Um, the Gluga Dooley Deco. It's nothing to do like with the weapon. They're fun. They're fun. I just, I just, I just, I just can't. I can't hit my shots. I can't hit my shots that I need to. I never play them. And poor Gluga Dooley Deco. To the bottom you go. Number two, Big Bubbler. Picking a winner for Big Bubbler isn't hard for me. I, I play Junior a lot, and I do it the same way so many of you do. Bomb, bomb into a bubble, into two more bombs. Case closed. Sorry to say, but unless the map is straight and flat, I'm just not hitting those shots with the H3D. It's gotta go. It gets the bubble really quick. Like, just how look how fast I can get some, like, special just tapping around. But that's all I'm gonna be hitting. The floor. Number three, Zipcaster. Octobrush with Zip is just whimsy. Come on. You can go wherever you want and just tap away. What are they gonna do? What are they gonna do when you're up here? Unless they've got, like, really long range, you win. I really wish the same could be said about Carbon Roller. Just, the reach just isn't there, comparatively. Look, I can even get the guy over there like a little bit with the Octo Brush. Come on! The Carbon Roller just kind of feels like the opposite side of the same coin with the Octo Brush. And this isn't the side you want to land on. Number four, Missiles. The Reflux is just unmatched when it comes to Tenta Missile potential. And I don't even just missile for the sake of spam. We missile out here that so we can follow where our opponents are going and chase them down with the Reflux. I'm also like begging, please do not underestimate Reflux tap shots. People assume the Reflux will like always lose the 1v1. You couldn't be more wrong about that. But I'm sorry to say that Wiper Deco just doesn't do it for me. I, uh, it still gets missiles pretty fast, but I feel like I spend too much time missile hunting and not enough time like bothering people with the sword. Number five, Ink Storm. <sighs> I couldn't hide from the truth if I tried. You know me, I love Stingray. I love Burst Bomb. And while we might have not gotten it in Splatoon 3, Jet Squelcher still is my baby. And I do enjoy the storm on it. <laughs> You see, the way to cope is to pretend it's like a burst bomb, and, and then it'll do enough damage to kind of make you do one less shot, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Remember how, like, two minutes ago I was talking about how great the regular Octobrush is? I'm sorry to tell you this, but this Octobrush, it just isn't it for me. It's just not it. You can't hide in this. How am I gonna shark? I wonder what my favorite Booyah Bomb weapon is. This beautiful swirling slosher has been blessed with every boon imaginable. The chip damage. The chip damage. Did I mention the chip damage? Mmm, give me some guacamole. I was gonna take a little bit more time thinking about what my least favorite Booyah Bomb weapon was, but then I realized that S-Blast is the only one I haven't gotten at two stars. I think... I think that speaks for itself. Number seven, Wave Breaker, my, my beloved. I'm gonna be real, it was over for me with this weapon since like that practice Splatfest we had in August of 2022. It was the first Wave Breaker weapon and I kind of thought I was gonna become a heavy main in three. <laughs> Sadly though, I love Vanilla Dreadringer. <sighs> this thing, man, it's got such good combos going on for it. You can't be too mad, but the Reef Slider one is just so fun! I'm just not gonna play this one! It's so sad, because, like, look how cool, like, the rust coloring is, like, on the side of this one. It's so pretty. Oh. Number eight, Ink Vac. It's best in Turf War Zones and Rainmaker, but honestly, it's just fun. Whether or not you're, like, winning with it, it's just goofy. I, I can't be mean to Big Swig. I will be really mean to the Ballpoint Nouveau, though. On my first run of this script, I was gonna say, Oh, it took the Custom Hydra's kit! But the Custom Hydra also has mines! So, um, uh, just, just give it, give it, give it the Ink Vac. Give it the Ink Vac, please. You can do that. Can't you? Ink Vac Hydra would've gone crazy. That's the third kit we need. Number nine, the Killer Whale 5.1. If only this was number five. All right, all right, how about you leave your like on the video right now before I show you my Killer Whale weapon? Okay, you did it? Okay, uh, yay! It's been in the game since Splatoon 1, it's evil. I'm sorry, I like 52. <laughs> On the other hand, Sploosh Neo, they, they massacred my boy. Where 
its missiles! Give it the missiles back! Please, it won't hurt too many people! Probably! Number 10. Hey, hey, you're halfway there. Inkjet, I can see two things right now. Number one, I can see that post. Number two, I can see a future where you're playing this weapon. Oh my god, the Rapid Blaster Deco. It's just, it's just so good! It's literally a blaster with a blaster for a special. How do you expect me to not want to play this weapon? Look at this! I just continue where I left off. Not only can I blast her further away, but then when I'm done, I'm safe. Thanks. Love it. Sorry, guys. I gotta be mean to just one more sword. This is a weapon where, like, I want to stay on the ground. I don't want to inkjet. I want to fight people down here. Like, inkjet's really fun. I don't, I don't hate this weapon. But, like, I don't want to be up here. I want to be on the ground. Let me go back. Let me go back, please. Thank you. Number 11, Ultra Stamp. I'll be honest, I was gonna say Wellstring till I remembered the other chip damaging creature, the one, the only, the Luna Blaster. Yummy fizzies. It's just, it's so good. And come on! You can hammer at people when you don't feel like using your blaster, yes? And hey, I'm gonna be real. The Inkbrush Nouveau kit isn't even that bad for this weapon, but it's just my least favorite hammer weapon, honestly. It's still fun. I still have fun with it. I just, I miss having a bomb, you know? Number 12, Crab Tank. You know, I'm not good at them at all, but Splatoids are probably one of like the most fun weapons in the game. The reach that Crab Tank gives to Splatoids is just kind of crazy. Come on. Come on. How, how could you not like want to play this just a little bit? And the kit's just fun. And V-Doids are just fun, even though I miss like half the time. It's just, it's, it's just a good weapon. Sadly, as a Jet Squelcher girly, <sighs> Splattershop Pro just doesn't do it for me. Look, they, they, they both even have marker. Lucky number 13, the Scourge of Splat Zones, Reef Slider. Of all the new weapons they added in the game, the Painbrush and then the Dreadringer were the two I was most excited about. And they basically built the Dreadringer to pop out damage. It just hits everything. And then when you're all done with that, boom, Reef Slider, wonderful. Something doesn't get blown up, don't worry. One slosh, gotcha. Sadly, besides using the Reef Slider, I feel like I have no reliability when I'm playing the Tetra Joys. Not that other people are letting me down. It's, it's me letting them down because I can barely hit anything. Number 14, Tri Strike. Tri Strike is fun, simple, safe. You know what it's gonna do every single time? It moves people out of the way and it means that I can hit them with my Ten Attack. Yay! Sadly, Rapid Blaster doesn't get Tri Strike too quickly. You can see how slow this bar is currently moving up here. And it just doesn't have anything on its brother. The Rapid Blaster Deco. The blaster with a blaster for a special. I just don't play this one. That's really it. One of these tactic-cooler weapons I have five stars on. Hmm. Thing is, in Splatoon 2, I was an end zap like hater. I played it a lot for comp, and I didn't always really enjoy playing it. Now, totally different. Weapon is fun. I, I think it's the cooler that has made the difference, honestly. It's fun to like chuck the drinks, grab the drinks, and then everyone just rushes in. Even if you don't succeed, it just makes the game more enjoyable in that moment. Honestly, having Dynamo at the bottom for Tacticooler is really my own skill issue. I'm just not very good with Dynamo. The one time it's funny is when you're using Cooler, because then you run like stupid fast, and the Dynamo Roller is not meant to be this quick. Watching other people go wild with it is great. Keep it out of my hands. They keep the beast slow for a reason. Number 16, Super Chump. Bamboozler basically says, let there be chumps. Go! And once they land and they do their thing, they do a bit of damage and anybody left standing is gonna be facing the last little bit of my shot. Oh, I missed. Um, the, the Incline Tri-Stringer really only is at the bottom because I don't really know how to play it very well. It does the same thing as the Bamboozler where, you know, you can do a bunch of damage with the chumps and then finish them off with your arrows. But the problem is that I tend to miss a lot with my arrows because I'm just not good at aiming them. Oops. Also, they gave it Sprinkler. Number 17, Kraken. I took you guys to Wahoo World because 96 Deco is just that fun. This is also a weapon that like hates you though. If you don't use it right, if you're not patient, if you're not going for the right people, you will go like 2 and 10. <laughs> In Splatoon 3, the Kraken Roller is the only frontline that has a Kraken and sadly, I think I can figure out why. This is too long. It takes too long to become a Kraken. If you're causing problems up front with the roller, you end up kind of blowing up half the time. 
Number 18, almost there. Triple Splashdown. Listen, Baller Explosher crawled so Splashdown Explosher could live. Dude, it's so fun. It's so fun. I, I call the Explo basically the whack-a-mole weapon because it is a whack-a-mole weapon. You're just going for people who happen to be inside of your sight radius. And the Splashdown just helps you finish the job. It's fun. Sadly for Recycled Brella, I just don't have any experience with it, so I can't mark it very high. I can see the potential in it. You can work behind this shield and do your splashdown and stay really safe. We need to repopularize Snoot Boop so I can do this and that and be like, yeah, that's a Snoot Boop. And number 19 is Spider Color Screen. I love Curling Bomb 52. I made a video about it, I remember. <laughs> like back in the early days of Splatoon 2, telling people like, hey, if you wanna, if you wanna win ranked, you gotta play this one, play this one, guys. And then they nerfed like Stingray and they nerfed a bunch of other things about the 52 like immediately after. It was great. <laughs> in a world where screen maybe, you know, doesn't cause problems, it would be really fun to hide behind this and be annoying, you know? The Foil Squeezer is a really pretty weapon, but honestly, that's all I get to say that's really nice about it because, erm, oh yeah, you have to mash all the time. And it's a really weird workout, because not only are you mashing with the squeezer, but you have to take your finger off the trigger for your auto bombs too. It feels like it's gonna run down your mashing finger really fast between both of those. I really can't play it for a long time. You know, in the end, maybe we can enjoy our favorite weapons together, hand in hand, even if we don't always agree. Maybe this will get you talking, get you thinking about weapons that maybe you still haven't tried yet. Maybe the end of this video is your sign to try something new. Maybe even something that you thought about a long time ago and didn't put any time into. Look at those zero freshness stars, oh no. So go out there and enjoy a little bit of everything the game has to offer, even if you miss half your shots like I do with the Glugas. Um, uh, bye!